joining journalist hangout on Sunday. I'm Ayodili Uzubakun. Today on the program, manufacturers described a proposed 40% hike in the electricity tariff as outrageous and dangerous. And later on the show, subsidy removal, Naira devaluation hike ram prices as traders lament low sales. I'll be hanging out with Adewali Adewye and Chris Kendi Wado. So if you're ready, let the hangouts start now. Thank you for staying with us. For every passion, there are lines that must be crossed, must not be crossed. Ibadan based kit maker Abdullahi Atisa, popularly known as Trinity Guy, <laughs> is in the police net for taking his passion beyond the limits. The Oyo State Police Command has arrested the Trinity Guy for his outrageous pranks. The offensive and various kits depicted sexualization of a female minor who was compelled to describe genitals on the skit of the skit maker. Wally, I normally if I watch the skits and some are just, you know, outrageous and the way they've been going about it just to create content. I'm sure Chris will tell us more about this because all in the quest to get create content to get viewers to get more followership they do a lot of sometimes nasty things it's a very common thing in nigeria these days and people operate as if the internet is an ungoverned region that there are no laws you know that you can just post whatever you like imagine just going yeah. out there and looking at women with wigs mm. removing their wigs yeah well, the internet is a, it's an extension of uh, communication, and there are rules. Every country, you know, has its own rules that guide. So I think uh, what the, well, the, the Nigerian government needs to be more affirmative because the problem is that a lot of people have access. You know, minors, children, once they pick the phone, they can just read anything. So we need to protect our civilization. We need to protect our culture. We need to protect our values. So we don't want to see this one as just one of those uh, statistics in arrest. We hope that the police will pursue this case diligently and then ensure that uh, you know, the right things are done. Sikien. Yes, um, I've been one of those that have been, over the months, been complaining bitterly about the activities of the so-called skit makers. And... Um, in as much as the problem with us is that we copy and copy wrongly. Mm. We've seen how kids are made by other, other individuals across the globe. The way they go about there, you see them dancing, mm. you see them going to malls, you see them, you know, acting um, in a way and manner that does not necessarily put the life of people in danger. danger. But the type that our people, we copy and copy wrongly. And but first and foremost, I need to comment the spokesperson, spokesman of Nigerian police, the person of CSP, we were the job. Because he was the one that he, he started by warning initially when he realized that this was getting out of hand. Because if you see look, some of these kids, in the course of doing it, people get injured. There are instances you go to where people are cooking food, women are cooking food, you run into the place, raise for salam, they run away. Some fall into gutter, some water pour, a hot water pour on them, and all sorts. And he has been telling them that they should be very, very careful. This particular young man's own has been the, is the worst of all because the way and manner he goes about, and we're talking about Abdullahi, Abdullahi, at this popular known as Trinity guy, the way and manner he goes about his own is something I don't understand. He started, well, the way he started was just as you rightly mentioned, going around removing people's wigs and um, we are in uh, Jalabia, going around the uh, behavior. Now. But he took it to the next level. That was one, of, one I so saw him. Say you are going that, to die? Yes. Say you are going to die. Are going, he has, also go as far as shooting, shooting gun or whatever he shoots that makes people believe that somebody is being, is being attacked. And that in itself. So at times he, he will tell you that he wants to shoot you, he wants to kill you, that he's an arm robber and the rest of the, And these are innocent people. Because skits, normally, the way you do skits, at times, 
It is, it, it is planned. It is arranged. You have a team. Some of the people you go to are people that you've already arranged this kit with. You've already planned them. You know, you, you've gone around. It's just like, it's like a comedy or a play. So it's not just running into people like that. So uh, he, when this particular came, and Muiwade Jobi said that he needs to be arrested, and I hope this particular incident will stay as a warning to so many others who have, to have yes, they are making money, but the money you are making is at the detriment of the people, and at the point of making some of this, the lives of Nigerians, even young, young Nigerians, even old women, because there was a particular one I saw, he also did, somebody, he, he, he splashed water on a lady, and the next thing, he started using whip, and be, was beating the girl. He said, go and change your clothes, go and change have your clothes. You I'm sure he must have seen that Yes, sir. And the other ones, he see somebody. That they will offer you money, money they say, you, you can, can press your, 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 let me press your, private. there were even some, they'll say, they, okay, can you, I want to have sex with you. The, the person will know that there is a camera, hidden camera somewhere. They will ask them to remove that. The lady will remove just for 50,000 rest. It is not until she must have removed her clothes um, almost to her panties before you now say, oh, it's a skit. You don't do that. So um, I hope that this will be seen to a logical conclusion. The police in your State have arrested him. I learned that he'll be charged to court tomorrow. But whatever be the case, I think and I hope that will be the beginning of sanitizing this so called kit. This is not what is allowed. And the same thing to a large extent. We also push it more also to our comedians. Some of our comedians are taking comedy to the extreme. You, somebody come, you, you are at a particular place, you are at a particular show, and you'll be raining abuses on an individual that came to watch your show. Paid. paid. Somebody paid to come, and you continue raining abuses in the form of saying that it's comedy. Oh, you are this, you are that. That is not, it's like invite, it's just like what we do as journalists. You invite me to a show, and you want to embarrass me. It is not done. So I think this should be extended also to other content uh, pro, uh, producers like comedians, and even some of the movies that, even the movies itself, the censors board is delaying on, on, his, on his role. You can see some of the movies, you can see the particular movie that was made about Lagos, where Lagos was depicted as a, a I can't remember, depicted as a, as a very terrible place and the rest of it. Lagos. Yes, that, that, that movie is supposed to have been uh, 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 nice. by the censors board, which I don't think they did. So I think this will just go across, but it is good that the police is starting it. If the relevant agencies are not doing what they are doing, then our security agency should step in. Thank you. Is, Julie is joining us from Abuja. Thank you. Uh, I, <laughs> yes, uh, Trinity is somebody that I had watched for quite some time. You know, he likes to take these um, ranks to the extreme. Just as uh, you know, Nigerians like to copy things. It's a, a white man, I don't know whether it's an American, who goes into supermarkets to provoke people. He calls everyone a boy. He will tell him, boy, get me that thing. Get me that thing, you boy. And the person that he's referring to is just like his age mate. And they will take exception to being called a boy. He will continue to provoke them. When they want to attack him, he will point at the camera that, oh, uh, uh, he's a skit, and all that. This is what our people do. Because there is so much idleness in town. There is so much, a lot of the young people have nothing to do they go to social media to give themselves joy. They go to uh, TikTok to see what is there. They go on Facebook to see what is there. In fact, someone told me that, look, if I do not have data, I'm finished. Because it is uh, on social media that you can find things that will make him happy. There is joblessness in town. Hmm. So some of these skits, naturally, people shouldn't even look at them twice. But anything that Trinity posts, you see hundreds of thousands of people, you know, uh, viewing it. And he must have made a lot of money because we see him give people as much as 200,000, 100,000, you know, after putting them through uh, some horror. He will now come give them money. In this case, 
a little girl, you are asking the little girl to describe how your genitals, what it looks like, you know? And the, a girl who naturally couldn't even be seen in public with somebody like that who is not uh, uh, her parent. Minor. Is there describing, describing a minor, describing how Trinity's uh, uh, um, genitalia looks like? It is extremely obscene. We've seen a lot of people, but I'm tempted to believe that a lot of those those kids are actually pre-planned. Person being flogged, uh, knew that it was going to happen because they also slap him. You see them slap him, he gets dirty slaps, but we still keep coming. You know, some a lot of those things are planned because from the camera angle and the and the. Uh, expertise that the cameraman himself shows, you will know that it's not as if he's hiding behind a wall to shoot. So those people will clearly know that, okay, they are being recorded. So a lot of what he does are actually uh, uh, pre-planned. So the people involved know about it. You know, it's this drama that we are seeing before our eyes. But even at that, to use a little girl for this kind of skit and get her to be saying the kind of things that she, she was saying. I think Trinity deserved the fate that has befallen him. And I'm not surprised that the police have not wasted time. They said, look, we are going to arrange him uh, uh, tomorrow. We see all kinds of things. Mor morality has collapsed in our country. We see people shoot kids that they call kiss and grab all they do is ask women a few questions they will tell them that can you can you just do 360 for the camera the women turn around they do 360 and then he, he, he asks the question kiss or grab you have to choose one at the end of the day before the camera he squeezes their, their buttocks I've never seen anything like this. The extent to which we are taking uh, you know, these kids is really extremely disturbing. And there has to be a way to ensure that this thing is regulated. Anything that is obscene should not be taken to the public space. It, we have to find a way. How, how come Nigerians don't see Indians kiss themselves in movies? They know that they will go to jail. You can't kiss. You can't kiss a woman in an Indian movie. Mm. You know you go to jail. They don't do it. We 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 grew up watching those Indian films, but we'll never see them. Once they get close, before the lips uh, they touch uh, one another, they, mix they pull back. And there was an Egyptian woman who used the banana to kind of uh, simulate uh, oral sex. Of course, they jailed her. But we see what uh, these kid makers do with Kukumba and the rest of them, and they get away with it. People get away with blue murder in our country. It has to stop. I think that what uh, the police uh, have done with Trinity will set the right example. People will learn an exemplary lesson from this, that you can continue to come up with these irresponsible skits, those kids that people can learn from. And people, will, you will still make your money. No, as we wrap up on this. Rather than descend to that level of uh, bringing a little child. There are even some content providers that they are just out there who misinform the public. Definitely. They, they will tell you that, oh, we've seen maybe the president of Nigeria, yes. that he has collapsed. Yes. That where he is now, that he has collapsed, he you will know, be coming back again. You, you know, and you know, if this is the number of viewers. You know, if this is not nipping abroad, AI is out, artificial intelligence. Mm. And if you see what is happening is, uh, on social media now, AI, they can remove your head and put mine. Mm. They can remove that of a woman and put on yours. Mm. You saw the one they did with Pope several times, where he was playing basketball, where he was playing ball, where he was with a, 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 a lady, where he was kissing a lady. And, mm. AI. and so many people believe it. And even in the U.S., 
issues have been raised on the, uh, on the importance of AI and some of the adverse effects you could have. In fact, President Biden raised that issue with the President of um, uh, the Prime Minister of India, who just visited the um, uh, uh, US a few days ago. So we have to be very, very careful. This is the time that we have to come in and make sure that we regulate some of these issues. Because, you, you know, most of the time, we are not as advanced, even as advanced as most of these countries of the world. Anything that our people see, they believe. Anything you see on TV, anything you see on social media, anywhere you believe. And there is always a tendency for us to copy whatever you see. So we need to snip in the board. Because if you know the number of our children that are on social media, yeah. children as little as five years, six years are having phone. Their parents are giving them phone to take to school. And they go straight. There's no restriction on what they view and what they do. That in itself is a problem. So that is why I so much appreciate, once again, what the police is doing. And I hope that this will be able to curb some of these yes. excesses. Well, well, well what, <clears throat> what it did uh, was a violation of the Shida Acts of uh, 2023. Mm -hmm. So I think it's clearly against the law of the land, mm -hmm. apart from violating the morality of the society. Mm -hmm. The minor. Yes. But I think this is not just for the police alone. You know, we also need the moral authority of the state. The, you know, or your state house of assembly wants to see how they are going to intervene in this. We want to see the national assembly, the, you know, the senate and the house of assembly because it's a national problem. This, this, this thing happened in Oyo State, but it's also happening all over the country. So it's going to affect generations. It's going to accept, affect the consciousness of our, of our younger ones. So it's a national problem that I think you know, we need to respond to it beyond Oyo you know, State. Hmm. A chieftain of the People's Democratic Party.